Well, hello everybody. Um, Tracy here. The crazy turtle is out in the front yard mowing the lawn like he should be. Um, for you, my new friends here, um, the crazy turtle, that's Bam Bam. He's my four-year-old Salcotta. I thought he was five. He's actually four. Um, my husband got him for me for my 39th birthday. Don't do your math. Um... Yeah, got him the size of quarter, well, a good silver quarter dollar, dollar piece thing. And, uh, paid a hundred bucks for him, and now he's like, this big. <clears throat> you can look on my back videos and see, see has, how he has grown. Um, today I'm doing a video on request, um, Jessica Love. Um, asked about my granola video, well, a video on my granola on how I make it, and um, from uh, Lori's Crochet Corner 2. Hope I said that right. Um, so there's a couple shout outs. Um, so I got what's left of it on my second batch. Okay. This is what's left since I made it late, late, late Friday night. And I keep finding little hands stuck in it. Uh, mostly my husband's. But, uh, this fat turned out a little sticky and gooey. But they seem to love it a lot. Uh, it's My mom made it when I was really little. And me and my bro two brothers always liked different stuff. So she always made three different batches so that we each had the kind we wanted. So what you take is, I just buy regular oats from the store. <laughs> Excuse me. And you take about two cups of this. I made two batches and I still got a pretty full container. And uh, you put it on a pan, an oven pan, with a little bit of a lip because you don't want it falling over. And you, what you do is you take the pan, you cover it in butter, just like a thin layer of butter. I forgot to do that. Oh, sorry, I got allergies bad. And um, then you put, you spread your uh two cups of oats on it nice and evenly and then you toast it in the oven at 350 um, you have to take it out every I'd say five ten minutes tops in case you have accidentally forgot it um, I kind of did that this time that was one of my mistakes I made which made it super super sticky and um, you you keep every time you take it out you stir it up and then you put it you spread it back out and put it back in there until you got nicely toasted not burnt I burnt mine um, and then when you when it's all nice and toasted you take it out of the oven let it completely cool you have to completely cool and now to get those little clusters those hard uh, crunchy clusters you take your honey. I have almost an endless supply. My husband's family has got a lot of beekeepers, so all I have to do is make a phone call or two, and I can get all the honey I want. Um, this was a full jar when I op first opened it to make my first batch. Like I said, this is the second. And so you don't need too much honey. <clears throat> it's more kind of like glue. It glues all the clusters together. But I love the taste of honey, so that's a plus. Um, and what you do is once the oats is completely cool, you slowly drizzle the honey over it. And then you let it, um, then you stir it so it clumps up. And then you let them the um, honey harden. And then you just pick up the clusters and put it in your container when you're ready. <laughs> okay, and then... Um, you take what I do because I'm on a low sodium diet I buy 
two cans of the, these. This is 16 ounces of uh, unsalted peanuts. <coughs> and then I buy two containers of raisins. They're 20 ounce raisins. And then I gotta have my chocolate. I This time I bought mini M&M's. That's the little pretty colors in there. Um, my first batch, I used the larger M&M's. I noticed doing that, they were gone way quick. I got a daughter who digs. She digs for M&M's. And so, uh, lost my train of thought. Okay, so you take turns. You put your layer of peanuts. You always start with something hard and dry on the bottom. And then you can um, add your raisins, then your uh, M&M's or chocolate Hershey Kisses or anything you really want. And then you add a handful of the granola clusters uh, or the oat clusters, and then you just keep layering it. Um, you can even do it in a large bowl. That way you can pre-mix it before you put it in your container. Uh, and you just keep doing it until you use e up e all your stuff that you got or till you got the much the amount you want and um, <laughs> and then you gotta hide it um, what I used to do when my kids were a little younger is I didn't put it in a big container like this I would mix it all into a big bowl and then I would scoop it into little sandwich bags and then I would hide the sandwich bags. You have to put it in a, a cool, dry spot. And um, I would hide it. And then after so many days or once a week, I would take out a new handful of uh, sandwich baggies. And they would be gone in like no time. <clears throat> like I said, today's Monday. The Hold on. Let me check. Monday, October 12th. I just pulled a, a rose from a rose legs to crochet. I can't, I don't keep track of days. <clears throat> so I made this Friday. So it's just a couple of days. And a couple more days, it'll be gone. And uh, yeah, it's completely whatever you like. If you got peanut allergies or a nut allergy, don't use nuts. Um, you can use, um, for the crunch, you can use, uh, what they call it, dried banana chips. Those are really good. Plus, it gives you a little sweet. Um, if you're allergic to chocolate, don't use the chocolate. Um, use coconut. Shaved coconut's really good in it. Um, if you don't like M&M's, but you like chocolate, you can use the, uh, semi-sweet chocolate from, uh, in the baking aisle or... It's totally custom customizable. Ha ha, big word. Um, so I think I'm going to have to start doing the little sandwich baggy thing again. That way I have some. Because um, my family's stealing it. Okay. That's the homemade granola. That my whole family loves. Um, crochet wise. Oh my god, I've been so crocheting. Uh, I made a extra large scarf shawl thing um, from Bag O Day from Crystal. Um, I don't remember the pattern name on it, but it's the one with the pockets. My daughter's really clever. She decided to fold it up for me. So it's really long. I did add the tassels to it. It's really, really long. <laughs> And kind of wide and um, I really like it oh. um, I have a friend that I think I'm gonna surprise uh, this with I almost never keep any of my crochet projects that I finish I almost always give them away to my friends or family members or whatever. Can you crisscross it? And of course all my stuff looks better on my daughter than it does me. <laughs> um, 
but I used the granny stitch instead of the stitch that Crystal used. You can see it. Um, I didn't want anything too heavy so that it can even be used in the cool summer days. There we go. There's a the pocket. And then I add a little tassels to it. Pockets aren't too deep. I just wanted well something you could put your gloves in or your cell phone or whatever. <clears throat> Have the lily bug. Pull that back up for me later when she's through with school. Um, then I made these cute little pumpkins. I posted it on my Facebook. My personal Facebook. And my family liked it. Got a little loop. The handle is actually a loop. So you can put it on garland if you want. I just... I just like the little loop. There's camouflage one, a little pumpkin one, and then a little brown one. I like that. And like I said I've been doing a lot of crocheting. Oh, my littlest daughter. Um, is turning seven this Wednesday the 14th and she loves unicorns so I made her this she still hasn't got to see it because it's not her birthday yet but um I'll have to find the pattern for it uh, it's off of YouTube but um I like <laughs> I like the little hair the little curly cues and the little tail. I actually didn't want to leave them separate, so I wound them together so it looks like one multicolored tail. Kind of reminds me of a little piggy's tail. Um, but if I if if I do it again, make this unicorn again, I'm gonna do it different. So I saw a pattern where the the uh, snout and the head is all in one piece. To me, that looked a lot better than two separate pieces. And I think I might stitch in the eyes instead of use buttons. But uh, she's going to be seven, so she's a bigger girl. I might just glue them because they are, they are loose. Glue them down. I had some fabric glue, but my daughter's, Lilybug's a big crafter too. So she got a hold of it and made a bunch of stuff. She's trying to make her little sister a dress. I told her to go right on head. She does the stitching the material. I do yarn. Uh, and then I just had to. Now I'm in the process of uh, making a teddy bear. I got some extra yarn, so I'm making a teddy bear. Might make a few of these. I really like this pattern. Except for the body doesn't seem big enough to me. Seems like it should be a couple more inches bigger. I like the way the head turned out. And I'm going to stitch crocheted eyes right here for it. Maybe make them pretty blue eyes. Um, so I'm going to make it a couple of those. And then let's see. What else is there? think that's about it um go ahead and leave a comment subscribe uh any crochet ideas just let me know like i said i always i have to be crochet crocheting i got fidgety fingers so i always have to crochet one project then another then another then another um the pumpkins i've already got plans to gift out a local friend here she has a uh, depression and anxiety like I do and um, she's seen them on my Facebook page and uh, said that she would love them so I'm gonna surprise her with those um, yeah I think that'll brighten up her day um, she has a real hard time with anxiety um, 
Unless you really have anxiety and depression, you really don't know how tough it is. So being one who has it, I sympathize with her. And um, it's one of the reasons why I crochet. It keeps my hands busy. When I was a kid, I used to fidget with the buttons on the remote. Mm -hmm. Mom, don't be mad. I was the one who broke the buttons off all the time. Um, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, I guess that's it. Like, subscribe. Um, if you didn't mind my rambling so much, please subscribe. Um, uh, leave a comment. I love, love, love hearing from y'all. Um, I'm going to try to do more and more videos as now winter's here. I don't do good in the summer. I had a heat stroke when I was younger, so summer makes me sick all day long. So fall's here, winter's next, so I'll be doing a lot of videos. Hopefully not in my husband's garage. But right now, my daughter's in the kitchen or dining room doing school. My husband's in bed sleeping, so garage is where it is. Um, yeah. Hope you don't mind me rambling on. Okay, love y'all. God bless. Love one another. Be kind.